Well, Merry Christmas, y'all, and welcome back to Apron Strings. I wanted to show y'all, I've got a little bit of Christmas up, not a whole lot in here. I've got a little bit of sprays in here with my uh, pans. And then I've got my little animated Mrs. Santa over here doing her job. And this is my kitchen area. I've got my red tablecloth on and my table runner that my friend Carolyn made for me several years ago. And I have a cute little dish towel that a friend bought that said, Who needs Santa when you have a Nana? Got a little bit of Christmas around the roosters over here. Got my Christmas Santa shelf out here by my tree that I leave up year round that has Christmas on it. I have a willow tree, little small nativity set on my counter. I think they're so cute. They're small, but it's pretty. That's the reason for the season right there. Good morning, y'all. You've had a little mini tour here in the kitchen. I've got my sunroom all decorated, but I'm not doing a whole lot in the main house here because that's where we'll spend our time. Put a lot of effort out there, and I'll show y'all. But today, I'm going to make one of our favorite Christmas things, and that's gingerbread. My mama catered uh, weddings, and she baked, she called it for the public. And there was a bank in town when I was a kid. It's still there, but it has a different name. It was called Farmer State Bank. And every Christmas, they served gingerbread and wassail. And mother would make the gingerbread for them. And she had a big old two-foot square. I think it was two foot, if it wasn't, it was 18 inches square um, pan that she would make the bottom of a, maybe it was a 20 inch pan, whatever. It was the bottom layer of a wedding cake that she would make that big old pan of gingerbread and then she would take and cut it and she would use like dental floss in little one inch squares. The whole thing was cut in one inch squares where they could serve just a bite-sized piece to the people that came in the bank. So, this is Mother's recipe. If you're from the Cleveland area and you remember the gingerbread at Farmer State Bank, this is the recipe that Mom used to make it. And one time she submitted her recipe to Southern Living. Let me find my card. I don't know what year it was. I don't think it's even on the card. But she was, her recipe was chosen to be in their magazine. So, and when you got a recipe chosen to be in the magazine, I think they would send you five recipe cards that you could share with people. So I've got one of Mom's from Southern Living. But anyway, um, that's what we're going to make today is gingerbread. This is one of the first goodies that I'm going to make, and I will be making some more. So thank you all for being here. Thank you for keeping on watching my videos and for emailing and texting and all that you do to keep in touch with me and check on me and look I don't have on a Christmas apron and there's a reason for that I'm in the process of closing in my screen porch and I'm going to move all of my sewing stuff out there and make my sewing room back into a bedroom well I can't get it I can't I can't find anything everything's been moved for this, for that, for the other. And I don't even know where my aprons are. That's crazy. So maybe before Christmas I'll find them and I can I can be wearing my Christmas aprons because I've made me a bunch of them over time. But today I'm just wearing a red apron. It'll keep me clean and it's red for Christmas so I guess that'll do. Welcome to all the new subscribers. There's a bunch of y'all that I haven't met yet. If you comment, that's how I meet you, and I try to answer every comment in a timely manner. Now, y'all know I've been going through all this building and redoing and stuff, and so lately, it may be three days before I get to the computer and answer, but I do answer you sooner or later. 
So today we're going to make gingerbread. Let's get over to the mixer. Okay, the first thing we need to do is uh, cream our butter. And that is one cup or two sticks. And then we need to add one cup of sugar. I'm going to scrape it down, and then I need to add some eggs to it. And I'm pretty sure it's two eggs. and cream that. Make sure it's all out of the bottom. I don't want to have some big old hunks of butter left in there. Now we're going to add in three-fourths of a cup of molasses. I'm using Steen's cane syrup. That's what Mama would usually use when she didn't have molasses. And Daddy always had Steen's syrup at our house. That's what he wanted on pancakes. And we need three-fourths of a cup, I mean a half of a cup of buttermilk. That was three-fourths cup of syrup and a half a cup of buttermilk. And we need three-fourths cup of uh, boiling water. And we're going to put our soda in there. And I actually had my salt in with the soda. <clears throat> Let that set for a minute. That was a teaspoon of soda and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Now I'm going to start adding my flour, which is three cups. Y'all, I didn't have the camera on. I thought I did. I've alternately added three cups of flour and my um, three-fourths of a cup of boiling water that I had put my soda in. And I'm just mixing it to make a smooth batter. And I added my, my spices was uh, two teaspoons of ginger, a teaspoon of cinnamon, uh, half of a teaspoon of cloves, and that's it. I wish I could smell. I always liked to smell my gingerbread when I was making it. It smells like Christmas. Mix it just a little bit more. Make sure it's all mixed well. Okay, I'm going to get y'all back over to the butcher block and we'll get it in the pan. was here, they'd be licking this beater. Y'all wasn't looking, I might too. Okay, I have used Baker's Joy in my pan here. Hmm. This makes, it's not like a cookie. It's fluffy like uh, like a cake. And 
and I'll show y'all how pretty it looks. Gingerbread. One time Mama had made gingerbread. <clears throat> she had to go to town for something. And April was there. Maybe Mama and I went to town together. April was there with Daddy. And Mother said, Bill, you watch that young'un. Don't let her pinch my gingerbread. Because it was that big old huge pan. When we got back, <clears throat> the corner of that gingerbread was pinched off. So when mother would take it to the bank, you know, she had it on a board. She wasn't fixed to take one with a corner missing. So we had a big pan of gingerbread to eat. I mean a huge pan. And she had to make another pan of gingerbread. She wanted to pinch April's head off. I would have too. So anyway, I'm going to get this over in the oven and let it cook. Uh, for about 40 minutes and then I'll bring y'all back and show you but it makes a it makes a good full pan so I'll be back in just a little bit I forgot to show y'all my nativity uh, thing that's up in the windowsill it just exactly fits and I just love it constant reminder of what this season is all about the greatest gift for mankind to ever get when Jesus was given to us. Okay, I just got it out of the oven and it rose up real pretty and it's perfect. So I'm going to let it cool and then I'm going to cut it and uh, show y'all what it looks like. Sometimes you can put a dollop of whipped cream on the top or um, you know, a glaze, whatever you want. We like it plain. Okay, here's the gingerbread all cooled and ready to cut. So I'm going to cut it, but I wanted to show y'all. I just put it in my 9x13 because I have a lid that snaps on it, and it'll keep it fresh. Okay, I got me some cut on these high-dollar Christmas plates here. These are really pretty little plates I got at Dollar Tree. I think there's 10 or 12, maybe 15 in a package for $1.25. That's pretty good. This brings back lots of memories, folks. Mm. That's good. Very good. It's moist, and it's, of course it's still warm, so it's yummy. You want to make it pretty, sprinkle a little powdered sugar on the top, or put you a little thing of whipped cream or something on the top of it. But I like it plain. Goes good with coffee, I've been told. And I like, um, my builders are here. And I like using it, um, I like it plain. Good morning. <laughs> that gingerbread is just exactly like I remember it. My, um, my friend that's helping me around here came in and so I really don't remember where I left off. So I'm just going to pick up right here. Y'all saw me taste of it and mmm and om um, because it is good. I cut him a piece. He loved it. So he's, in fact, he said, I'm going to set, it's a paper plate. He said, I'm going to set my plate over here because I'm probably going to eat some more directly. So anyway, I, uh, I like to share. It's fun. I've got a bunch of running to do today. So I'm going to get this video uploading. And I'm going to go do my running. I'm meeting my girls from high school that have always been close. We've been close for, we meet for lunch occasionally. And remember I told y'all they took good care of me right after Troy passed away that week in there. We're having lunch today at Gringo's. So I'm having Mexican food today. And then I'll get back home and do some more getting ready for the youth at church are having a party here Friday night. So I have got the sunroom looking like Christmas Wonderland and I'm going to do a video and show y'all what it looks like and um, probably I'll be doing some more Christmas goodies. This is this is not really a, a decadent goodie, the gingerbread, but oh my goodness, it's good if somebody stops by and you want to give them something with a cup of tea or hot tea or hot coffee or hot chocolate or iced tea. Sweet milk's good with it too. 
I hope y'all are having good Christmas holidays. It just puts you in a good mood. You know, I was telling Gary, there's been lean times when we didn't have money for a lot of gifts. But I had my decorations because I've been collecting them for years and years and years. And I would get the house decorated and we'd have the money to get the kids a little something. And Christmas was wonderful. It's just the spirit that goes along with it. When the greatest gift that man's ever been given came to this earth for us, with a plan to be the ultimate sacrifice for us. It's just a good season of joy and thankfulness and looking back on the good things the Lord's done for you and the blessings that you have in your life because you know Him. And aren't we blessed to know His name? The Old Testament people didn't know His name, but we know His name is Jesus. And I'm so thankful to know Him and I know that He knows me because He takes good care of me. So celebrate the season, but don't forget, Jesus is the reason for the season. That's why we give gifts to each other. It is because the Heavenly Father gave, gave us a gift. He robed Himself in flesh, the Bible says, and came to earth to be the sacrifice. So I'm thankful that I have that gift and that it still resonates in my life and that I'm able to get a few gifts from friends and grandkids and family. I love my Strings family. I do love my Strings family. And I hope y'all have a wonderful day. And I'm going to get on with my rat killing, as they call it in the South. That means you got junk to do. And I'll be back in a day or so, hopefully with some goodies.